Hi everybody, in the midst of all that's going on in the world right now, it makes me my heart glad to be able to introduce to you uh, our new Associate Rector for Discipleship and Worship, uh, the Reverend Joshua Daniel. Joshua, so glad that you have um, arrived, uh, you and your family, safely at St. Columbus and um, are now uh, um, tucked into your house for the duration. Yes, we are thrilled to be here. It has been a crazy uh, introduction to St. Columbus and the, the community here. My first day was just this last Monday. Well, I'm glad you make it, made it. Um, can you tell us a little bit about um, uh, your call to ministry and your early ministry and what, what brings you here uh, to St. Columbus? Yes, yeah, would love to. I was uh, ordained to the priesthood in 2018 and my first call was to a small uh, community in Northeast Arkansas where I was priest in charge, which means I was uh, not only the only clergy um, in the parish, but the only full-time person uh, working at the church. So it was a lot of learning on the job, a lot of on the job training and uh, kind of building the airplane uh, as we flew it. Relied on a lot of uh, priests and colleagues uh, to field questions and say, how do we do this? Um, so that was the first ministry, just wonderful spirit-filled uh, community where I learned a lot, a lot of hard challenges, obviously, also. Um, and before that, uh, before I was ordained, I was a seminarian at Virginia Theological Seminary just across the river. And so in many ways, it feels like we are uh, returning to a, a area that we're a little bit familiar with. And um, J Joshua, is there... If you uh, can tell us um, in a, a few phrases, what, what's what's most central in your in your ministry? How do you um, wh where's 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 your your heart in your ministry? What what gets you going? Yeah, thank you. Well, um, I was a college chaplain for a number of years before I went to seminary, and I think part of what uh, interests my a um, uh, uh, drive for for ministry is just my interests as a person. Um, I love being with people. Um, I love the the joyfulness of community and the fun and the playfulness of it. Um, but also that that larger ideal that we are um, greater as a community than we are as individuals, and being able to um, tie that into a theological framework where. Uh, the community is infused as the body of Christ, and um, the arc and the trajectory of that type of mission is something that I find um, just uh, deeply powerful. Um, a community of, of uh, families from the very young to um, our elders coming together and sharing a sense of perspective and purpose and a common mission is something that um, is what I wanted to do. I... Uh, I thought about uh, teaching philosophy. I did a PhD in philosophy before seminary, but um, I missed I missed the um, the births and the funerals and everything in between. I wanted to be part of a of a of a full community in all of its messiness. Well, thank you, and um, so it's going to be uh, challenging uh, for all of us in these days uh, to find ways to be in community. Um, this may be premature, but uh, and any thoughts you have as to how we uh, go about being in community um, in the midst of um, COVID-19? Yes, I <laughs> was, uh, I mean, just thinking that I'm meeting uh, most of you this way digitally is just... Um, Kind of mind-boggling. I am. I am a hugger. I, <laughs> I love uh, the in-person contact and 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 being able to see people in bodily form. So yes. It, so on the one hand, um, I can't wait for the the day of celebration when we all are joined together um, back at the church or in various physical locations <laughs> in this community. But until then, um, I am. Uh, excited and kind of thrilled about the kind of imaginative scope that these uh, next few weeks will um, present for us. Um, also a bit anxious about what uh, what the future holds um, for the pandemic that we're all experiencing. But 
um, hopeful and so glad uh, to be part of a great uh, community, the, the parish staff, which has been so supportive, but so many of you who have already uh, reached out and, um, and just uh, have made this a chaotic landing, but um, a good one, and uh, one that we are just uh, thrilled to be a well, part Joshua, of. Joshua, I'm so glad you're here, and uh, welcome to St. Columbus, and um, good people of St. Columbus are going to have uh, many opportunities in, in uh, uh, coming weeks uh, to get to know you through, uh, in this way, uh, through for worship and, and prayer and study. So welcome to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you, lovely. See you all soon.